In this video, I'll be introducing must-have new Skyrim mods for the last part of 2023. We've gathered mods from various categories, including gameplay, animations, and creature followers. Please watch the video until the end, and if you enjoy the content, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. First, let me introduce you to some visual and gameplay-related mods. There are a few modes I'd like to highlight. Firstly, the Fantasia Landscape mod transforms Skyrim scenery into a fantastical realm. This mod replaces textures for all landscapes, roads, bridges, mountains, caves, mines, etc. with new and unique ones, supporting resolutions up to 4K. Emphasizing a fantasy atmosphere, each texture is imbued with creative colors and intricate details. If you want to maintain Skyrim's Nordic feel while enhancing it with a more vibrant and lively appearance, trying out this mod would be a great choice. Next on the list is the ENB Light Detection Fix. This mod, implemented as an SKSE plugin, enables NPCs to detect ENB lights like any other light source. Described as a port version of the Light Limit Fix, this mod doesn't support configuration files. Instead, it reconstructs light colors on the CPU using reverse-engineered information about the renderer and creates real light sources that NPCs can detect. If you enjoy stealth gameplay, give this plugin a try to further enhance your gaming experience. Next up is Azurite Mists. This mod enhances visibility up close while avoiding the creation of linear artifacts in the sky. Focusing on many valleys and ghostly seas in Skyrim, this mod intricately places fog to provide more detail. The creator mentions that this mode is a remagining of the original Volumetric Mists mode by Robanko. It addresses issues by using a new modal that becomes transparent when viewed from a bove or at a distance, restoring detail up close while preserving distant landscapes, Enhance your Skyrim Vistas with this mode and experience an improved visual landscape. Next up is Sky Patcher, a patcher based on SKSE and Common Lib SSE. This tool allows mod creators and users to modify game data without the need for plugins. It applies a framework similar to Fallout 4's Robco Patcher, enabling adjustments to NPCs, races, weapons, level lists, form lists, containers, and more in Skyrim. One notable mod created based on Skypatcher is Sky Valor. This mod fine-tunes the health and damage of Skyrim's enemies, providing a smoother and more balanced combat experience without compromising difficulty. Instead of starting with a health increase to 300, health, stamina, and magicka now increase by only five per level. NPC level scaling is disabled, giving each enemy type unique health values and decoupling NPC spawns from the player's level. This allows for the creation of stronger enemies even in lower level areas. Additionally, Sky Valor globally increases weapon and magic damage and adjusts NPC armor scaling. It innovatively tweaks armor skills, making NPCs with better armor skills wearing heavier armor more defensively formidable than those with lighter armor skills encouraging more strategic use of equipped armor. Skypatcher plays a crucial role as a framework for upcoming innovative mods, and Sky Valor exemplifies its potential. Keep an eye on developments in this space, and we'll continue to introduce mods based on this framework through this channel. Next, we have the i4 Shout Icons Overhaul. This mod adds unique and immersive icons to all shouts in Skyrim. Operating in conjunction with the Inventory Interface Information Injector mod, it is compatible not only with vanilla Skyrim, but also with shout overhaul mods like Stormcrown and Thunderchild. Using this mod, each use of a shout provides a fresh and distinct visual experience. Additionally, it inherently supports compatibility with the Wheeler Quick Action Wheel mod, making it easier to switch between shouts and adding diversity and interest to Skyrim's shout mechanics. In this segment, I'd like to introduce some animation-related mods, roughly about three of them. Firstly, let's talk about Dynamic Sprint Stop. 
This mod adds sprint stop animations for each weapon when you stop sprinting. Essentially, it introduces a sliding motion to the character as they come to a stop during a sprint. When used in conjunction with the previously introduced dynamic sprint, the connected animations appear the most seamless. While sprinting, stopping abruptly, or stopping while blocking results in a sliding motion on the ground. It would be great to suggest incorporating additional movesets for scenarios like sliding with a drawn bow or executing a sliding attack with a melee weapon when stopping. Next up is the BDO Guardian Attack MCO ADXP moveset. This moveset enhances Skyrim's combat system, adding attack animations and combos. It is specifically crafted by referencing the attack motions of the Guardian class in Black Desert Online. Equipping a one-handed axe from BDOR Winter Mountain, Guardian Spirit allows you to use this moveset, making it a great option for those who prefer this outfit. Next up is OAR Conditional Sneak. This mod utilizes the SKSE plugin called Open Animation Replacer, allowing for the application of different sneak animations based on the brightness level. For instance, in darker areas, you can use animations like Crawl on All Fours, while in well-lit environments, animations such as Venargan Sneak 3 become available. Although created as an example to showcase the conditional feature of OAR, it is introduced as a standalone mod that works quite well on its own. If you find it appealing, give it a try. In this segment, I'll introduce outfit and weapon-related mods. There are quite a few mods to cover, so I'll keep it brief without applying body slide. Please pay close attention as we go through them quickly. Firstly, Gryphon Knight Regalia Breton Noble Armor. This mod adds the Gryphon Knight Regalia, meticulously crafted by the Royal Blacksmiths of Evermore. It features SMP effects, elaborate shoulder fur decorations, intricate patterns, and excellent support for one-handed swords and greatswords. Next up is Fluted Armor SE. This armor, crafted by an individual named Umbasa, introduces a Demon's Souls or Dark Souls-inspired aesthetic to Skyrim. With a patch supporting SMP HDT, installing it alongside the armor can further enhance its quality. Refer to the description for more details on maximizing the potential of this armor set. Next up is Elmlock Armor and Blade. This armor set adds a lightweight, adventurer-themed outfit in a blue hue, along with a great sword, designed for both male and female characters. It supports CBBE and Himbo Body Slide, and you can obtain it either through crafting at the Forge or by using mods like Aditem Menu. Next up is FB Witch Slayer Armor. This outfit adds a lightweight leather armor set and Witchbane Sword designed for female characters. It supports 3BA and BHUNP bodies, and the armor can be crafted at the Skyforge. With various color options, modularity, and the application of ESL flags, it's an excellent outfit. In this segment, I'll introduce one creature mod and one follower mod. Firstly, Cliff Racers Fly So High, Mihail Monsters and Animals. This mod adds the birds known as Cliff Racers from Elder Scrolls III, Morrowind to the Skies of Solstheim. These birds casually fly around and do not attack the player. However, their presence is reminiscent of Morrowind, enhancing immersion with creatures that fit seamlessly into the game world. Next is Sachiel, huh? custom voiced oh, Khajiit uh, follower. This mod turns Sachiel, a Khajiit spell sword hailing from Hammerfell, into a companion. Sachiel engages in combat with a witty and optimistic personality, wielding both fire magic and a sword. With approximately 6,000 lines of dialogue, Sachiel is marriageable and offers five quests. He reacts to the main quest, DLC, Thieves Guild, and Winterhold College quests, showcasing outstanding performance. Embark on a fantastic journey through Skyrim with this follower. Thank you for joining us in exploring the must-have Skyrim mods of the end of 2023. These diverse mods promise to add excitement and depth to your adventures. 
If you have any questions or need more information about any mod, feel free to leave a comment below. Stay tuned for upcoming videos featuring additional mods and helpful tips. Wishing you a fantastic remainder of 2023, and May 2024 bring you a year filled with good fortune. See you in the next video.